Hey guys, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, the properties of the shop towel material and I wanted to go over some of the uh, preliminary results we received from uh, Dr. Philip Clapp, who's a toxicologist at UNC. Uh, he ran some, he did some testing and he gave us a quick blurb of some preliminary results. I also had a phone conversation with him and he didn't use Scott shop towels. He used a different brand. He used the uh, Sellers Toolbox brand shop towels. However, these shop towels are, they're all pressed cellulose paper towels that feel like fabric towels. Um, we want to make sure that everyone realizes that these are not wipes. You know, if you get something in a tub that is more like a Clorox wipe and it's wet, that's not what, what you want to use. Okay, we don't know what chemicals are on that or anything. And we don't know anything about the filtration capabilities of it. Uh, and, you know, I suspect that these things should all be about the same. I've used these things all my life and they always look and feel pretty much the same. They may be different colors, but it's you'll recognize the fabric when you see it. And this is the fabric that Dr. Uh, Peter Tsai, who's the inventor of the N95 fabric, recommended. And that's what, you know, that's why this whole thing blew up and that's why there's so much interest in this. Okay, so back to Dr. Clapp's uh, information. The, what he found, he did a test where his experiments actually include the fit. Uh, you know, they account for the fit. So you're actually, you're testing it with a person wearing the mask. Uh, he found that the single layer shop towel mask as designed uh, like we you know like you see in the original video uh, performed to 54 percent and he also tested standard surgical mask you know so so we're comparing this one that we've made to your standard you know standard surgical mask that everybody wants to get a hold of so badly uh, that they performed at 39 percent so Preliminarily, this is actually slightly outperforming this. I would call these two comparable, a single layer and a, a surgical mask with the, with the ear loops. Okay, now there's, there's higher grades of these, but this is, the, this is kind of the standard. And so really, I feel like this single layer is about all you need. He also made a double layer version with some longer rubber bands that he put around the back of the head. I'm not really sure exactly what that looked like, but that performed at 74%. However, as he, as uh, Dr. Clapp pointed out, you don't want to restrict your breathing any more than you than you need to. It's uncomfortable and it can be dangerous for you. Okay, if you've got underlying heart or lung problems, this could could cause serious problems for you. So for everyday use, I would I would still recommend these, and I'm hoping to get. Some, some good solid data so we can officially uh, recommend these for healthcare workers as well. For containing, pretty much anything will work. You know, I mean, this th these are comfortable and they seal well and they work well, but that's really why as a population, we all need to wear them. So we're keeping these germs to ourselves. The Business Insider article that compared different types of shop towels, um, I don't really know what they, there's, uh, they never got back to me, but it seems like they maybe we're comparing apples and oranges. They called it a polyester pressed. Shoot, I don't have that information here in front of me. But it was a, a synthetic fabric, and they compared that to Scott shop towels, which is uh, pressed cellulose. But the the brand that they mentioned in the article, the Toolbox brand, that's another uh, pressed cellulose. That's the one that Dr. Uh, Philip Clapp tested. So I. I'm calling that data in, inconclusive right now for, for our purposes. All right, so hope that helps and hope to get some more information to you soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.